Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. And in this video, we have a couple things going on. So I'm definitely excited for this video. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in three days, which for me is a very long time. So I do apologize, but I had a lot going on the past couple days. And um, I'm here to show you pretty much, you know, part of what I was so busy doing. Um, so this um, is a eBay jewelry lot that I won. I was on auction, so we will be going over that. But first, I would like to show you. Um, so sometimes I like to get a little crafty. Um, it doesn't happen often because I really don't have the time, but I just got this idea in my head um, like randomly and I thought this would be a cute idea so I'm kind of brainstorming it with you guys and I made I made like a prototype so basically all right I'm just gonna show you it and then we'll talk about it <laughs> Woo! okay so this these are ornaments this year has been a very tough year okay so we need to make light of it a little bit. Um, whether, you know, I'm not gonna get into details of things that happened. We all know what happened this year. Um, also what happened this year, if you guys um, are pretty new to my channel, um, my wedding got canceled. So, you know, because of COVID. Um, so that's still on hold. It, <laughs> whatever. So I decided to make a little bit of um, a light, you know, make light of things <laughs> um, and kind of have some fun with the end of the year. And if anyone's interested, I will be selling a few of these ornaments. Um, really, it's like, you know, just make a joke, kind of laugh about what, what happened, you know, don't take things so seriously. Um, better days are hopefully coming, and each day is what you make of it. So, um, these I think would be cute if you want it, like if you give your friends gifts or, um, you know, uh, relatives, maybe brothers, sisters, or anyone that may have, you know, have this feeling about 2020 <laughs> would be a cute idea. So, like, for example, um, in my family, me and my cousin, um, we usually exchange like a, a cute little ornament. So this probably will be something I will give to her. But I will, I have a bunch of these made um, and I'm offering them to you guys if anyone's interested. Um, I put them together myself and I will be charging um, $14 shipped um, within the United States. If you live outside the United States, um, you can still email me and we will just go over like a different price for the shipping because it's the, pr the shipping is like quadruple <laughs> what it is within the United States. So $14 shipped within the United States. If you're interested, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of those made if anyone's interested. So we'll put those to the side. And if nobody's interested, I guess everyone in my family and my friends are getting an ornament. <laughs> okay, sticking with the ornament theme, um, I have been kind of putting aside um, animal, like single earrings. Um, I can't throw them out, like they're just so cute. So what I did with the animal single earrings or animal themed things, um, I made ornaments out of them. So these will also be for sale. We have a little parrot. We have a little whale, like a little orca whale. We have this really cute wooden gazelle or, yeah, I guess it's a gazelle. I don't know. Antelope, what's that other one that looks like a gazelle? Oh, well, whatever. Then we have this one. This one was in a recent video. It was actually a necklace. Um, well, it was broken, a broken necklace. So what I what happened was, why this looks so crazy, um, I cannot get the hook off of the chain. It's like really on there. I tried to untwist it, I tried to cut it. It's just not, it's not coming out. 
So what I did was I just took what the pendant, like what the, you know, the bail, I guess would be the bail um, that attached to the chain. I kind of just made it as best I could into a hook for your Christmas tree. So um, I have those and then I have this, which was also an earring that I can't, I just can't bear to throw it out. So what I did was I kind of bent the ear hook a little bit as well to look more like um, an ornament hook. And this is sterling silver and amber. So, um, and you know, I know they're little, but I don't know how you guys decorate your trees, but uh, like toward the top of the Christmas tree, I start out with the smallest ornaments, and as I work my way down to the bottom of the Christmas tree, they get bigger ornaments. So if anyone's interested in these, um, feel free to email me as well. Um, I will probably do um, 10 shipped on these four, and um, probably like 15 shipped on that one um, within the United States. If you guys are outside the United States, still email me and we'll just work on um, the shipping like difference okay so I think these are so so cute and I hope you guys think so as well so let me get these off to the side okay now so we're gonna do this next which is the eBay lot that I won some somebody a buyer had I mean a seller had an auction um, and then I also have a bunch of stuff that I won, I went to a live auction on Saturday. So I was there all day. I actually helped work the work the auction with my husband. We helped um, the owner and we also got, you know, we also bid on things. So that was really cool and fun. So I will be showing um, jewelry that I won from that and some other miscellaneous things that I'll be selling, you know, in the video. And then um, I had, I picked up some stuff from an online auction, some jewelry that I will be showing you guys as well today too. So it's a whole bunch of fun all put into one video. So let's open these up. So this was um, a lot of necklaces, I believe, and they are all Koro, I believe. There might be other ones in here I don't remember. But let's take a little look-see. Come on. So, um, not that I want to, like, talk about it, but there's rumors that we are going to go into another lockdown. And if that happens, you know, obviously a lot of things will be affected. I know that. I'm not trying to make, you know... I'm not trying to not be serious about it, but one serious thing to me is my nail salon. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, really? But the reason why I say that is because you guys might be seeing me without nails. So um, just, you know, giving you a little bit of warnings. I know some of you guys, most of you guys like it. Most of some don't, but you know, just letting you know. Because um, if we go into lockdown, nail salons will definitely not be open anymore same with hair salons that whole jazz again so I don't I don't see a maker on this so I'm not really so sure but anyway it is a very long gold tone with a cute little tassel at the end it's in it's in really good condition um, if anyone's interested in this I would do three dollars okay. really I'm just just not really looking forward to another lockdown. This is just not, not what anybody wants, I'm sure. Okay, so here is, see, I don't know how she said that these were all, because this one's not marked either, but I love this chain. It is very pretty, right, nice and flat. Probably goes this way, I don't really know. But let's see what this does. Okay, so this just goes up and down so you can make it more tight around the top of the neck and have it more like a, like a, I don't know, 
tassels or just keep it down here and have it a bigger necklace, bigger opening. So that's kind of cool. And it's in good condition. There's a little bit of wear around this, like around the edge, but otherwise pretty nice. So I would do five on this. Very pretty. I like the boxes that she gave. I will definitely be reusing these. Okay. So let's take out the first little baggie and see what we got. Okay, so let's get rid of those. This is really pretty. Okay, so this one, yeah, I don't think, oh, this one is marked. Okay, so this one is marked Coro, right on there. And I guess it's gonna go this way. So that is very, very pretty. I really like this one. So we got some different strands here, some big chunky chain, gold tone chain, and we got the mesh here as well. And it has the little hook with the adjustable length. That's very pretty. So I'd probably do, do like six bucks on this one. Okay. Oh God, she wrote 13 ounces and it's a, it's a baggie. That does not sound like it would be jewelry. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this one and this one, hmm. Yeah, this one isn't marked either. So I guess they're not all Coro, which is kind of deceiving. All right, this is a little tangled, but you guys will catch, get the drift here. We got multi-layer thin gold chain and um, multi-layer chain links. And then it comes together with the clasp with the adjustable length right there. I wish this would just untangle, but I would do five on that. And this looks to be the last piece. If I can find the clasp, here we go. Oh, this one's nice, okay. So yeah, they're not all coral, just that one was. So that was definitely misleading. Might have to put that in her feedback. <laughs> Okay, so this one is multi-strand chain and it's very long and we have this little, these little like chunky beads. So this one's cool. This one would look awesome with like a dress on, like a solid colored dress and just have this really long necklace dangling. I would do five for this as well. Um, it is in very good condition and yeah, all right. So that was that. That wasn't too exciting, but I promise what's coming up next is. <laughs> okay, so let's go over, let's keep the best for last, which is the live auction. So this is the online auction. So I had my mom pick up this stuff because it actually turned out to be like two roads over from where she lives. So that was pretty cool. Um, I am also going to sell, or if you guys are interested in the baskets that it's in, I will, um, those will be available too. I'll show you them in a second. This is just... Oops, this is just all costume jewelry. I looked it over. I don't believe, I'm not really sure if there, if there were any names. We'll have to, as we go through, we'll have to see. So, the baskets, let me see if I can pan out a little bit more. So we have a small, and I'm not going to be able to show the whole thing, but 
a smaller basket and a larger basket. This one's probably about 12 inches. So this one's probably like 15 or 16, but the sides are really cute. So. Okay, so there's that one. They're in excellent condition. The little burlap scent uh, inside. And the larger one is the same thing. I don't know if I'll be able to get it all in the all in the screen here. But no, you know, holes or anything. Very good condition. Um, I would do 20 bucks for both plus shipping. Okay. Scoot you guys back down. And let's get into the jewelry. All right, so first piece is this, which I thought was so super cute. It's like a lady with a fan and she's got a little diamond earring. It's not real diamond. Oh yeah, this is marked. This is LR. So I'd probably do like six bucks on that. Um, we have a couple brooches. So we have this one which I think is really cool. It reminds me of something medieval. And I like it a lot. It is not marked. I would do, I would do eight on this. It's pretty unique. Okay, well these are right on top. So the, all the earrings I believe are clip-ons. Um, and I'll do three dollars on all the earrings so let's just pull out a bunch of oh three dollars each <laughs> on all the earrings because I know um clip-ons are not exactly everyone's cup of tea but let's get them all out so you guys can see Those I think are cool. But I have sold clip-ons in my eBay store. They do sell, just not, you know, they're not high ticket or fast sellers, but don't give up on them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think any of these are marked. And then we have the black pair, and then we have the white here. Not that you can really see, but it's the same. Oh, no, that one doesn't match. These are actually like brand new condition. Let's clear these out of the way. So if you guys, you know, timestamp this, um, just let me know, like describe them, describe what it looks like if you're interested. So here's another one with little colored stones. These ones are really nice, these little hoops. And even if your ears are pierced, you guys know you can still wear clip-ons. It's okay. These ones are really nice too. All right, I know there's a few more floating around, but I also have some necklaces. Oh wait, here's the other one to that. So we'll do that, okay. So let's get some of these bigger pieces out of the way. 
we have this necklace. Oops, I think it's backwards. Pretty silver um, seed beads with the brown and the gray. I don't know what those beads are called, <laughs> but yeah, that. So this I would do five on. We have a faux pearl necklace with a little rhinestone on the clasp there. So I would I would do just three on this because it's pretty simple. It's not you know it's not marked at all. Oh yeah, it is. It says Japan, so yeah, it is um, vintage. But we'll do three on that. Next we have this lovely hematite necklace. Do five on this. This, let me fix this. All right, this I think got, this got put in wrong. I'll have to fix that clasp if anybody purchases that. Um, it's signed Japan. It is a faux pearl little bracelet. Yep, faux pearl. I would do three on that. Here's another faux pearl necklace. Um, let me just see. Yep, faux pearl, but it is knotted in between. And a cute little heart clasp. No markings. It is very tiny. It, oh, my phone's going Okay, off. so this is a um, very small necklace. It's probably 14, 15 inches. I would do three on it just because that size might be difficult. Um, we have, oop, we have this beautiful red brooch. Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up, you know, eventually. <laughs> I would do four on that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, let's see what else. So these, there's two of these, and somebody can tell me what they are because I have no idea. Um, I would say like for your hair, but I don't think that's correct. Um, like combs, but maybe, you know, I don't know. So somebody in the comments, let me know. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> we have this cute little, um, bracelet. It has dried flowers in there. It's cute. Let me see, is it, ooh, it might be sterling. Let's check that out quickly because there are no markings. It is not. Okay. But either way, I would do four on that. Okay. Okay, okay. We have this little pin <laughs> with the dime on it. I'm gonna do like three bucks on that. Here's some more clippies. These have rhinestones all down the front. There's this one. None of these are marked. Very, oh no, these are. These black ones are Monet. Yeah, well, you get the point. There's these screw backs. 
These are kind of cool. Here's the other one to this little rhinestone fella with the faux pearls. This one's really cool. Let me get it the right way. Now that's kind of weird because this would go, that just that piece would stick up like in front of your earlobe. It's very different. I like the dangly. Okay, that one. And lastly, we have these little huggy ones. Okay, $3 a piece. Then, then we have this, which I don't know, do we put that in there? No, maybe, I don't know. Tell me what this is. <laughs> Looks like a little sword. So we'll put that on the side because I have no idea. Then we have, so I had found one of these in a lot one time that I showed you guys, but this one does not have the pin. So here's the brooch with the abalone. Um, but the pin is missing. So um, I would do $2 on this one. If anyone can fix it up. And then last piece from this online auction. So it is a multi-strand, like, like gunmetal silver color, three strand, no clasp. And then it has this piece at the bottom. And it is um, artisan made. It says Maxine something, Decker? Something like that, 1983 on the back. So it's actually Maxine Denker. And um, this one um, is gonna be a little bit more. Um, I did run comps, so this one will be 20. Um, eBay is showing it, you know, I can, I'll put, if no one purchases this, um, it would go up on eBay for about 40 to 60, so. Okay. Next and last um, are the live auction um, winnings. Well, I spent like almost $700, so obviously I'm not showing you. I'm just showing you the jewelry, um, but I did want to put in some things that um, I wanted to see if you guys were interested in. And the first, now these you don't have to do this with, but I just, when I saw them, I thought since I made the other um, ornaments. I figured maybe someone would want to make ornaments out of these guys or just leave them as they are. They are a little made in China. I mean, I would call them like pinata animals, but I know that's not what they are, but that's what they look like. So they're so cute and they are sewn and they're, they're hard. Um, I would love to make these ornaments but I don't really know how. Um, the stitching, everything is very tight and hard. So if anyone's interested in them as they are or interested in them for um, crafting, you know, that's up to you. But they are so, so cute. And I would do $5 a piece for them. Well, they're just so cute. I would keep them, but I just have no place for them. You know, thousand foot apartment fills up real quick so okay so that's that five dollars a piece if anyone's in interested in those now here oh no wait sorry we got a couple more things we have a really cute cloisonne elephant so 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 cute He does stand. 
I would do 12 on him plus shipping. Okay, let's put him over there. Then we have this cool, you guys, because I'm showing it from above, you can't really see it. So I'm gonna lay it down so you can see the side view. It is a cloisonne egg. This one I would do 15 plus shipping. Comes with a cute little um, wood holder. Very, very nice. Okay, now to the jewelry. So, um, I did look up um, these brands. Okay, so I did do my research. These are not going for very cheap. They are... I didn't know what the brands were, you know, when I bid on it. So um, here's the first one. And I think it's marked, but I can't read it. And if it is marked, it's all the way in there, that little feather, the, the back of that little feather right there. Um, I even had my husband try to read it, and he can't. Um, I mean, I looked up what I thought it might say, but nothing came up. I looked up, you know, because this is a bird of paradise. I know people have told me, oh, bird of paradise is not a bird, it's a flower. It's both. Um, the bird of paradise has that really long, super long, colorful tail and the big feathers on the head. Um, I found similar ones, whatever. If anyone knows the maker, um, you can let me know if you've seen this before. But this I would do probably like 15 on because it's just that cool. I do not think it says Trifari with the Jelly Belly. You know, we all know I made that mistake. <laughs> yeah, I really, if anything, it looks like Avon. It looks like it says Avon if I had to take a guess. But I tried looking at Avon Bird, nothing came up like that, so whatever. Moving on. We have this one. Would, I would probably also do, no, this one is gonna be, this one I think was more. Um, this one I think was going for like 70 or so, so I mean, I don't really know if I wanna sell any of these, so if you're, Let's just put it this way. If anyone's interested in any of these going forward, if I don't give a price, we're just going to... Oh, look, I found another pair of clip-ons from the lot before. <laughs> so those are $3. So if I don't give a price on it, it's you just email me. We'll talk about it. This one, it looks like it says T-A-T. But I know a lot of these brooches I did look up and they were going for quite a bit of money. So I do not want to sell myself short again because I did pay up for these. This one is not marked. And it does have all the stones. So cute. These two are Jeanette. JJ. Um, they do have a little bit of scratching on the pearl face. There's the mark. Little boy and girl. This one, I believe, yeah, this is Crown Trafari. Little stick pin, butterfly. That one I think I could do 10 on, if anyone's interested in those, that. Then we have these really pretty earrings. They are pierced for pierced ears. There's no markings, so I can do eight on these. Okay. 
Okay, just put those over to the side. This one also did not have a marking. So I would do 10 on this one. Very cute, little ladybug, beetle, whatever you are. This one does not have a marking either. This one's very cool. I think that's an angelfish with the little ruby eye. I'd probably do like 15 on this. This one's cool. Okay, then we got this guy, pretty little peacock. She is missing stone here and here. Very pretty, not marked. We have these um, birds with the pearl nest. Uh, missing anything? I don't think so. Not marked. Sorry if the lighting is changing. I have the shade open and the sun keeps going behind the clouds and God knows what else. So this is a Kenneth J. Lane. Um, I did look this one up. It is it is quite a bit of money. It's going for between like fifty and a hundred dollars. So I will be selling this one myself. But if anyone's interested, it would be somewhere in that price range. And then this Mama Jama, big, beautiful elephant with the little whatever they call that on his back. <laughs> so pretty, not missing any stones. This one is marked, this is a signer, a sinner, signer, kiner, however you say that, C-I-N-E-R, sinner. You guys can correct me. I did look this one up as well. It is going for about $100 as well. Um, so I'll be selling this on my own. Or if you guys are interested, that's about the rate that it will be going for. But I just wanted to show you guys because, um, like I said, I did not know the brands, but I did, like I did see the quality. So I um, was okay with bidding. Oh, and this one does stand, which is kind of cool. I was okay with, you know, bidding back and forth with people and... Yeah, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed my beautiful little haul and my ornaments. And if you guys are interested, um, <clears throat> always email me any questions, stuff like that. Um, well, questions you can put in the comments. But um, email me for any purchasing information or requests at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, also, if anyone's interested in a mystery lot like a personalized mystery lot I do have a lot of jewelry that I have to get through with listing um, if anyone would like me to put together like a curated lot for them you can email me let me know your price range um, and you know that you're willing to pay and I can probably put something together for you guys um, so if you're interested in that as well please feel free to email me thank you for watching as always you guys um, I always appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next one